in the heart of Wisconsin's North Woods, where ancient forests meet crystal clear waters, a legend lurks beneath the surface. The muskie, known as the fish of 10,000 casts, this fish draws anglers from far and wide, each one hoping to conquer this elusive predator. It's not just a catch, it's a pursuit steeped in myth and challenge. As dawn breaks, the world awakens, shadows dance in the water, and the air is thick with anticipation. With each cast, the heart races. Every splash is an invitation to engage in a battle of wits and instincts. The expectation that first strike is electric, a rush that sends shivers down your spine. Will today be the day? Will we unlock the secrets of these waters, or will the muskie continue to reign as the king of the North Woods, leaving only the memory of an epic battle in his wake? This is where patience meets passion. The muskie is more than a fish. It's a rarity that tests your resolve, your skill, and your spirit. The water churns, adrenaline surges, and you know this is more than just fishing. It's a rite of passage. Let's go, guys! Every cast is a story. Every catch a victory etched in time. Here in these waters, the chase for the muskie is a quest that calls to the soul calling to embrace the challenge, to chase the thrill, and to become part of that legend. Will you answer that call? What is going on guys? Welcome back. It has been a long time. I'm not really sure if I know how to do this anymore, but we are on a pristine smallmouth lake. We're up in the north woods of Wisconsin. We're here for a week. We're supposed to be doing muskie, but for the first couple days I had to do the big fat fall smallmouth. We're gonna be targeting some deep Pumps, hopefully the bait's still moving or also smallmouth will not be there. We kind of just came out here to get water temp, figure what's going on. We got 54 degrees. Uh, some lakes are gonna be entering turnover, mostly small lakes. So hopefully we timed it. We have a full moon today, today's Thursday. And this weekend I'm hoping that the muskie are pretty decent for us. That is the main reason why we're up here, but we had to do some smallmouth before we got into that and start rotting as a unit together. So, all right, we'll come to you guys if anything happens. We're gonna be throwing the hammer stick, something in the orange, green pumpkin jig. Uh, you can actually, I'll pop up a link to both of those. Down in the description, you guys can buy the hammerhead jigs and also the hammer sticks. I'm telling you, they are one of the best bass baits. And today's video sponsor is Follow the Action Outdoors. So guys, check it out, followtheaction.com. We are back up in the North Woods, boys and girls. Let's go. This is one of my favorite trips of the year. I love going for muskie. There's just something about like chasing a fish that you know, and you're not gonna catch, you know, 15 of them. You know, if we catch a couple this trip, that would be, unbelievable so that's what i always get excited about but we're gonna go get our feet wet and catch some small mouths so let's go <laughs> here we go well, we're back we're back baby <laughs> All right, good morning guys. We are back. Yesterday, the first day in the books. Honestly, pretty good smallmouth bite. And now we are gonna be grinding for muskies. If we come over another hump like I did, we will obviously film it. We'll drop down for some smallmouth because there's gonna be some big ones. We have really warm temps today, like a high of 68 degrees. We got that full moon and I'm hoping we can kind of come away with the muskie here. That is the whole point of this trip. Last year, we got absolutely in this trip because we were fishing basically mid turnover. We came up at the wrong time and now we should have pretty good timing this time. We got a full moon today. We're gonna be grinding muskie. We've already done some smallmouth. Today's the grind. Today's the muskies. I'm feeling good about it. We have a minor time that we are actually in right now. We had to stop for some maps because we're also gonna be doing some pike today too. We got Pistol P up here. What up? We got the elusive muskie crew back. So hopefully we can pull it off. Like I said, we got good conditions. It's very warm. Uh, like I said, high of 68. Hopefully we can pull it off, but all right, I'm gonna shut the hell up. Let's get to the launch. We're wasting time. Let's get it. Let's catch a muskie. Right on. I'm not cut out for this shit. Oh, that's a small mouth. That's a nice small mouth, too. Like, that's no bullshit. That's a tanky McDo. This is why I don't catch muskies. This is why I don't catch muskies ever. 
Actually, I did get two in like three days in the spring, but I also wasn't going for them. Besides that one on the jerk bait. A muskie to hammer stick in the spring. I don't know, all those pike spots is gonna be all muskie spots too. I mean, it's all the same shit. <gasps> Pete, get the net, what are you doing? Get the net, get the net. Dude, put in the water. Put in the water. Net it, net it, net it. Woo! 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 I didn't see it. That was my bad. Jesus Christ, dude. I just had a heart attack. My bad. G'day! We did it! <sighs> Holy shit. I saw it eat it. I saw it and I didn't know if it still had it. And I just went like this and it was still on. I literally saw it swipe up and my heart sank. Sorry, I didn't mean to scream at you, dude, but like it was staring at you in the face. Where? Look at the sun. I couldn't see. Oh, you don't have shades. No. Oh my god, dude, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. That's a decent fish. And then I saw the head like come out. I was like, oh my god. Oh, guys, the first, not even five minutes of casting, our first spot, we pull up in a decent muskie. Uh, probably mid 30s, high mid 30s. I just want to make sure he's fully recovered. I don't want to jeopardize his fish, but what an awesome start to the musky trip. Look at that thing. Gorgeous pattern. All right, let's get him right back in. He's lively in the net. We're doing good. Wow. What a fish, man. Holy shit. Guys, like I said, I swear to God, this was like the first five minutes. I probably made, what, P4? five casts maybe yeah. four to five casts i was screwing around with the gopro had a dead battery to start go figure <laughs> found a small mouth <laughs> yeah found a small mouth made a cast in a small mouth oh my god we didn't mark a fish we didn't see a fish i literally saw that thing come up and my heart sank i couldn't even get words out to pee and then i saw him swipe my bait i didn't even know if he had it and i just said it regardless and sure as shit uh he had the bait basically t-bone which is an awesome sign we were just talking about we don't think the lake's turned over but unreal fish boys what a start Unbelievable. Let's go. All right. All right, first five minutes of casting. Oh my God. Let's go. Go. Let's go guys. First five minutes, we did it. We went all last year without even seeing a fish. And like I said, my third, fourth cast, I get a muskie. It's unbelievable. Like I said, it's not a giant by any means, but when you're out musky fishing, any musky is a great musky, and I feel absolutely fantastic on top of the world. Welcome back to Manaqua, the fall series. Let's go! That's why I think, dude, like seeing that fish that fat too, P, we should honestly get, if we put in a full day, we should get another one. some smallies underneath. Unfortunately not. What? <gasps> you have a huge one. That was huge. You didn't set the hook. That, that was giant. That was absolutely it massive. Because like it was huge. Because it was huge. That's why it felt like that. It didn't even feel like I hit. It just felt like I was snapped. I'm so pissed right now. Why does mine come off? Because you didn't set it. I, like, I went into it. You didn't know it was on, and you were just like, and then you started reeling. Because you were so thrown off guard. Dude. That's what I'm saying. It happens at any moment. One little f up is going to pop off. I set the absolute piss out of mine, dude. We're using 80 pound braid and a 100 pound fluoro. 
Set it like a goddamn shark. Oh my god, that thing was huge. Mass, like mass, the biggest muskie I've seen in this lake. That could have even been, honestly, that was so big. That could have been like 48 to 50. Basically what happened was, is the guy was just kind of shooting the shit with us. We're kind of fishing. I thought the shoreline would be really good because it is a steep drop off. And P definitely just hooked into at least a 47 incher. I was able to see the entire fish and it popped off basically right at the surface. He's throwing a mini Medusa. And guys, I'm telling you, that was one of the biggest muskies I've ever seen in this body of water. I've seen a lot in the spring cruising around in the shallows. The best thing about it is it bit. That's like, it's not like it just followed, it bit. <gasps> oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Don't move! Don't move! Giant, dude! Giant! Oh my god! Oh my god! Hey! He's still here! He's still here! my god he swiped he, but dude this fish is huge like a hundred percent dude he swiped at it twice all right guys well this day just got a whole lot more interesting p just lost like a 48 49 inch or we'll say 47 minimum and I just got followed by an absolute tank. Could be the same fish. If not, it's another 45, 46 plus. Followed me all the way up. And then I was doing the figure eight for a while and even came back around and swiped, not once, but twice. Musky action is crazy, dude. <gasps> P right here, right here, right here. Where is it? Why can't I find it on this? Four follows. He's right here again. Dude, he's always on the figure eight. He's just, he's just staying beneath the boat, dude. All right, guys, I don't know how much you're capturing of this or how much even I am, but we've had this fish, and it might be the same one that hit P's mini Medusa, has swiped on my bait now four times and just missed it all four times, but I think it's staying underneath the boat, and it comes after this glide bait in my figure eight. It is huge, too. The body's so thick. He'll get all the way nose up. He'll swipe. That last time was super aggressive, too. Slow, 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 slow. Huge. Oh my God. Never know. Oh my God. That was the right call. You're like, put on the other one. I'm shooting. All right, guys. Well, P just got the same follow, and when it swiped, it absolutely slashed it. Now I don't know if we're going to get another chance because P's hooked this fish most likely twice. Probably the craziest encounter I've ever had with a muskie in my life, though. The only thing you could have done is gone straight up, dude, and just buried it. Tried hook setting. No, I know, but out. well, yeah, because like if the mouth was this way, you pulled it literally out of the mouth. I don't know. I mean, we'll keep fishing here. I don't know if we're gonna have another chance now. I'm not too sure. I've also never seen this though. Four swipes, technically five, and then on, on the sixth, you hooked it. This is the craziest shit I've ever been a part of 
in my history of fishing. It's under, dude, we need a sucker so bad. He's back, he's back, he's huge. Well guys, spot number two, we just spent about two hours here on like a 48, 40, 49 inch muskie. He actually got bit not once, but twice. First time was on a mini Medusa, didn't really even know it hit, so when he kind of just like jolted it up, I was able to spit the hook. Second time, it followed me up four different times in a row, swiped at it all four times. Came up on P's the following cast, hit it right next to the boat. It is a giant, giant muskie, guys. Came back probably 12 times total, but unfortunately when P looked into it on that glide bait, um, he pulled, like the mouth was opening this way, he kind of pulled the hook set to where the mouth was opening, I guess if that makes sense. Elusive, smart fish, one of the craziest muskie encounters I've honestly ever had. Um, like I said, it came back 12 times, swiped four on me, bit once on P. We're gonna actually go down now, try some different stuff, get out of here. Definitely come back in this area later on, but uh, we got 2.36 on the clock. Um, we're feeling good. We already obviously have a muskie, but that was some of the craziest shit I've ever been a part of. How many follows and swipes and the actual amount of times it bite. Like it, it felt hooks both those times and it still was coming back. Just would not take it. Um, that's all I have. I'll come back to you guys. It's saying muskie, muskie. I'm disappointed in you. No, you have not, dude. You've acted. You've 100% sat there more than you have cast in. We'll review the footage. Challenge flags out. After reviewing, we realized that P was sitting there. Remember when he said shoreline sucks? And then what happened? What happened? Well, let's revisit it together. The muskie came in, say it. I P saw the muskie come in. IP saw the muskie hit not once, but twice. IP f***ed it up. One, two, three, now. One, two, three, now. Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. Own these nuts, Peeny. Woo! Muskie fishing in like a weird, sick way makes you have like the most intrusive thoughts about people. Like I could punch an old lady right now just going to get her mail. P, keep casting. I'm not letting you quit. Friends don't let friends quit. Like nicotine, don't quit. <gasps> Fisher, don't move me, don't move. I just got railed. I saw it eat, I saw it eat. Oh my God. Oh my God. That was a muskie, 100%, nice one too. All right, as you can tell, we are not in the North Woods right now. I wanted to change the outro because I feel like I had a little bit more things to say than what I did up North. I guess first things first, I really appreciate you guys clicking on this video. I want to apologize for not posting a video. If you guys saw my recent Instagram post, it does explain a lot of it. Basically, I'm kind of like, I'm doing a lot more with the FTA business side of things. It's one of those, YouTube may or may not be around forever. I don't know. It's one of those things where I have to make sure that I am brick and mortar for my family, for my future kids, for everything that's kind of going on. So that is a big thing that I took a bigger role with the FTA side. The videos aren't going anywhere. And honestly guys, with this opportunity, as well as taking over the family business, it's one of those things where I could have 10 million subscribers and I will still be doing this exact thing. It's a dream of mine to be able to take over the family business. And with doing that guys, the videos will never be going anywhere, no matter what happens, who says what, what haters say shit, it does not matter because these videos will not go anywhere. We already have trips planned, guys. We're going back to West Palm in February. We're going to the Keys in March. We have some crazy shit planned for 2025 already, but I guess you guys just need some reassurance that the videos aren't going anywhere. I just don't want to film half-assed shit. I don't want to go out and film at a pond. And again, nothing against that because it is fun. It's kind of like how everything started, but it's just like, it's not like in my eyes and I guess in my channel's perspective. I just don't really like the pond fishing videos. I don't really want to 
I'm a big boat guy, as you guys know, but I just, I wanna go above and beyond if I'm gonna film a video. I will start doing more cooking videos. I used to do them all the time, and I need to pick it back up. The daily, not daily vlogs, but do more vlogging. And I guess, I, like I said, I wanted to cap this off because the amount of comments, the messages, everything I've got of where the hell is the videos, this is a reasoning. So the FTA business side of things, taking over the family business as well, and making sure I'm brick and mortar for the rest of X amount of time. Like I said, who knows where the channel will go, who knows where it won't go. It, I guess all I'm saying is I wanna be covered and have a backup plan no matter what happens in life. If YouTube got shut down tomorrow, I don't even know what the hell I'd be doing. So like I said, I gotta make sure I'm covered and that is the reason the videos have kind of tapered off. Because guys, once I got the opportunity and once I got an offer like that, it's impossible to turn down. I don't have to worry about anything in life and moving forward, I won't really have any worries besides literally just living life, being with my family, and just like I said, doing what I'm doing now and what I have been doing for the last five years, I want that to keep going. But I guess enough of that, so I just wanna say thank you guys for checking out this video. It was an absolute blast to film this video. A big heartbreak by P, or I guess with P, losing that 48, 49 inch muskie. And it's an experience I've never, I will never forget. It was truly something that I've never even witnessed seeing a muskie that many times. Circle on her bait, swipe at her bait, eat her bait and hunt once but twice. And fortunately enough, unlike last year, because there was no muskie series last year or video, I at least got one this year and it was a good fish and couldn't be happier. So really appreciate you guys always supporting the channel. We are at 17,000 subscribers. We are at 43,000 followers or 43 and a half, whatever the hell it is. I just wanna say thank you guys. The support's unreal, you guys are unreal, and thank you, and the videos will be coming, I promise. Like I said, there are already trips planned and booked. We have flights in the Apple wallet as I say this, so guys, bear with me, have some patience. Everything will be smoothed out and the videos will never stop, no matter what. So if you're sitting here watching this video and you don't like it, too damn bad. Thank you. <laughs>